This video includes a paid sponsorship from NordVPN, but I'll talk more about that later. Elon Musk recently explained why Tesla is uniquely positioned to be a world leader in robotics and why it is nearly impossible for a startup, a robot startup, to accomplish what Tesla can in the robotics space. Stick around as I discuss further what Elon said. I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. From the outside looking in, Tesla may look like a car company that is dabbling with robots. However, the reality is that Tesla is an AI and robotics company that just happens to be making cars, and they are arguably already the global leader in real world AI with their full self-driving program, and they are quickly becoming a leader in robotics as well, which has the potential to be more valuable than the rest of Tesla combined. With that being said, here's what Elon Musk recently said in their annual shareholder meeting on this topic regarding their Optimus program and how Tesla is uniquely positioned to be a world leader in this space. We've made a massive amount of progress with Optimus in a short period of time from someone pretending to be a robot dancing in a suit to a pretty hodgy-podgy robot to a robot that is actually doing useful tasks in the factory today. It's pretty wild when you realize that it was less than three years ago that Tesla introduced the Optimus program and had that person dressed up in a robot suit dancing on stage. So once again, when you look at where Tesla was then just introducing the project itself and the progress that they've made since then, it's wild to see what Tesla has accomplished with their Optimus program in less than three years. And it's amazing that Tesla is already testing Optimus in their factories and offices. On that topic, Elon went on. So we have two Optimus robots in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is taking cells off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. And we actually have quite a few of these cruising around our offices in Palo Alto. Now, obviously we're still at the very early stages here of Tesla testing these robots in factories, but it looks like limited regular production, at least for Tesla's internal use, should be happening pretty soon. On that topic, Elon said, I think we've got one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next, and then we'll move into a limited production next year of Optimus. Elon clarified, limited production for use in our factories where we'll test out the product. When it comes to quantifying what limited production means, Elon specified, quote, my prediction is next year, we'll have over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla, and things are going to scale up very rapidly from there. So if Tesla is actually able to follow this timeline and produce over a thousand robots and have them working in their factories, that would be pretty wild, especially when you consider, once again, that would only be a time elapsed from the beginning announcement of the project of four years, roughly four years. So once again, from August of 2021, when Tesla announced the Optimus project to sometime in 2025, that would be a time period of four years. To do all that in four years is pretty amazing. Before I move on, this portion of today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. You may not know it, but your online activity is constantly being tracked by the websites that you visit and your location is not private either. But when you connect to the internet through NordVPN, your location is masked and your data is encrypted so you can avoid being tracked whether you are connected at home or to a public connection. When it comes to speeds, NordVPN is twice as fast as the next VPN provider so you can browse safely without sacrificing speed and since they have 5,900 plus servers in 60 countries, you can experience a fast VPN experience pretty much wherever you are, and they allow you to connect up to six devices at one time. Beyond the standard VPN service, which is great, they also offer a threat protection feature for desktop apps that blocks web trackers, ads, and malicious websites and files. Check out everything that NordVPN has to offer by going over to nordvpn.com forward slash cleanerwatt. And if you sign up for a two year plan using this link, you'll get four months extra and a huge discount. And don't worry, it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Now, like with Tesla's full self-driving project, where they're trying to produce vehicles that could pretty much be dropped 
anywhere in the world. And the cameras and the neural networks could work together to figure out where the car was. And those roads would not have to be mapped and specific instructions would not have to be given to the car, but the car should figure that out based on the environment around it. So solving general autonomy when it comes to vehicles, Tesla is doing something similar with their Optimus program. They want to have a generalized humanoid robot that will be able to learn as it goes along and you'll be able to teach it things and it should be able to do a lot of complicated tasks. On this topic, Elon said, quote, you'll just literally be able to talk to it and say, please do this task or I'm going to show you something. Now do that thing that I'm showing you. He also mentioned that Optimus will, quote, get to the point where it can watch a video of something like a person and then learn just by looking at that video and do that task. Once again, if this is actually able to happen, that'll be pretty wild and pretty amazing. And it would be great if you were able to just quickly teach Optimus various tasks and the demand for a robot that could actually do that will be crazy. And I'll talk more about demand. But with that being said, what kind of scale does Tesla see for humanoid robots in the market? Well, on that topic, Elon said, I'm confident of the prediction that the ratio of humanoid robots to humans will be greater than one to one. So more than 10 billion humanoid robots in the world, probably 20 or more. And Tesla is going to be by far the leader in that. Elon then went on to talk about further details about how Tesla was positioned to be a leader in this space and why other startups will find it nearly impossible to do what Tesla can in this space. Elon said, you're seeing a lot of robot startups, but I think it's actually very challenging to do Optimus as a robot startup because what we found to make Optimus work, we've had to design from first principles from scratch, every part of the robot. So the motors, the gearbox, the sensors, the power electronics, the communication system, everything had to be done from scratch. We found that there's basically no supply chain. So even though there are many electric motors made in the world, there's no supply chain for the types of motors and sensors and gearboxes that are needed for a humanoid robot. Tesla, of course, has gotten to a point where they not only have a large team that can work on this, a large team of engineers and other talented employees, but in addition to that, they also have a lot of resources when it comes to finances because they are a profitable company. Now, moving on, Elon Musk did make some comments about Optimus's hands, which compared to other robotics programs, Optimus's hands are impressive now and are going to be even more impressive in the future. Elon mentioned, here is our current generation hand and arm, which has 11 degrees of freedom. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. It will be able to play the piano. The dexterity that a humanoid robot would need to play the piano is astounding. And I'm looking forward to a demo of Optimus actually playing the piano in the future. Maybe we'll see that demo from Tesla sometime next year. But nonetheless, in a previous post on x.com, Elon Musk did reply to a post from Dave Lee and he wrote, quote, so much engineering has gone into the hands. In a year, it'll be able to thread a needle. Now, when it comes to how Optimus's hands compare to the competition, I covered this in a previous video, but at Dr. Jim Fan had a great thread on x.com, which was reacting to a video, a demo video that Tesla recently put up. And Dr. Jim Fan is a senior research manager at NVIDIA. Specifically on the topic of Optimus's hands, Jim wrote, quote, Optimus hands are among the best five finger dexterous robot hands in the world. It's got tactile sensing, 11 degrees of freedom compared to many competitors with only six to seven degrees of freedom and robustness to withstand lots of object interactions without constant maintenance. So Optimus's hands are already some of the best in the industry and they're only going to get better. So that's really exciting to hear. Now, beyond that, Elon Musk did talk further about Tesla's advantage in building robots. And he mentioned, because it requires so much ground up design, designing every motor, gearbox, sensor, power electronics from scratch, it's very hard for a startup to, if not impossible for a startup to replicate that. But at Tesla, we have the world's best electrical engineering, mechanical engineering for gearboxes and for electric motors, power electronics. So Tesla has the engineering talent to make this work. And in addition, they already have a computer that will work for Optimus because they're going to be able to use the computers that they use, their full self-driving computers that they use in their vehicles. Elon went on, we have the resources to do that. And then you also have to have the brain. You need a power efficient inference computer, which we've got for the car and we'll be using. 
Beyond all the hardware and the computer itself, which Tesla has that in the engineering talent, you also need to be a leader in real world AI to make an Optimus type robot work, a humanoid robot work. And on that topic, Elon Musk said, quote, you need to be the best in real world AI and Tesla is the best in real world AI. So you need all of these. You need a very strong hand of cards in order to make a compelling robot. And then you also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. When it comes to mass manufacturing complex products like a humanoid robot, I believe Tesla is uniquely positioned to be able to do that. And they've shown that they can do that with, for example, a vehicle like the Model Y. And in order to actually make the humanoid robot work and with mass manufacturing, Tesla should be able to get the price down of the robot quite low and make it actually somewhat affordable. On that topic, Elon mentioned, quote, so in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost 10 or $20,000, you actually need to design for manufacturing and be very good at manufacturing. Tesla has the production capability, it has the engineering capability, it has the AI hardware and software capability. So I believe Elon Musk made a really good case about why Tesla is going to be a leader in the robot space with their Optimus program and the progress once again that they've made so quickly is impressive. Now, when it comes to the long-term value of Optimus for Tesla, Elon Musk mentioned, even the most optimistic estimates that I've seen for Optimus, and then he made a joke here, the Optimus Optimist, I think undercount the magnitude of what we'll be able to do. Obviously, Elon Musk has a very optimistic view about Optimus, and to use his joke, you could even call him an Optimus Optimist. And obviously, it could take longer for some of these goals to be achieved, and maybe next year, Tesla won't have over a 1,000 uh, Optimus robots working in their factories being tested there, and maybe it'll take a little longer. But nonetheless, it's exciting to see this kind of possibility. Tesla does have a track record of being late on some things like with their 4680 battery program, their FSD program, but supervised FSD version 12 is getting very impressive. And as Dan Priestley recently joked, quote, Tesla has a specialty and that is turning the impossible into merely late. So obviously all these things with Optimus may not happen quite as fast as Elon would like to hope they will, but it's exciting that they're aiming for that. And I believe that at some point in the future, Tesla will achieve a lot of these things that Elon Musk mentioned. And it's very possible that they'll be able to achieve these things far before any other humanoid robot company. Nonetheless, Elon Musk did make a statement to really kind of temper this and really show how difficult this is going to be. And he said, quote, I don't want to trivialize what's necessary to get there. I mean, it's an immense amount of work that is required to get there, like super difficult, but we are moving very fast down that road and we're going to make it happen. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see this next phase of Tesla as they move more into AI and robotics. And the reality is that's really the future of technology and they're trying to be sure that they're a leader in that space as well. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Once again, make sure to check out what NordVPN has to offer at nordvpn.com forward slash cleanerwatt. And if you sign up for a two year plan using this link, you'll get four months extra and a huge discount. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.